Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and just very quickly, for anyone that was interested, I thought I'd do a quick taste test on these Chilean guavas. Um, now, it was only when I was moving some plants around that I noticed there were a few fruits left on the plant, which I wasn't aware of until uh, until I'd moved the plant. Now this is this one is Agni Molinae Flambo, which is the variegated variety of the plant with sort of cream and pink leaves to it. And the interesting thing is, unlike the normal uh, Chilean guava varieties, which turn dark, sort of like a dark pinky red when they're ripe, these never turn colour at all. Um, basically they're a bit like a variegated fruit. I don't know if you better see that or not, but they're sort of they're like a pale green with pink flecks on. So they've almost got a variegation like the uh, like the plant itself has. Because I was waiting for them to turn red when I first got the plant, and they never did. They just fell off and rotted. But now you're not going to make a meal out of these if you've only got three or four because the size you can probably see is no bigger than uh, like a small red currant or white currant but obviously if you had a bowl full of them or threw them into a salad they'd be quite nice but we're now on the 8th of November and these are perfectly edible they've kind of got a um, they've got more flavour to them than the uh, strawberry fruit uh, than the strawberry tree fruits that's for sure I think You can eat the whole fruit, of course. You can't detect any seeds in them. I'd say they've got a little bit of a strawberry flavour to them. I've never heard them called strawberry guava. They're only ever called um, Chilean guava. but And they're not a true guava, like a tropical guava. But they are in the myrtle family and they're distantly related to... Uh, tropical guavas and obviously also related to the pineapple guavas that are also all in the myrtle family but I presume they are from Chile like I said they're not, not satisfying in terms of size but hardy here should be hardy down to about minus 8 centigrade which I presume is about I don't know what it is off the top of my head in Fahrenheit probably about 20 something like 20, 22 Fahrenheit, about 20 Fahrenheit, but I'll check that up online later and put it on the on the video just to confirm the hardiness of them. So they're reasonably hardy and they're certainly fine in the southeast of England where I am. I can't cut them in half to show the inside, but um, basically the pulp on them is just a sort of like a translucent clear to green colour, but these do taste a little bit like strawberries and if the plant goes on to produce slightly bigger fruits as I think it might do when it gets bigger and you get a large enough quantity of them that you could pick a bowl full obviously they'd make quite a nice snack to uh, pick at when you're watching television healthier than crisps for sure I'd imagine they're quite good for you I don't know what the vitamin C contents like but they're not particularly high sugar but very very pleasant and those are the last ones of the season so just thought I'd uh, try them out on camera so that was my Chilean guava, Agni Molinai Flambo. Last fruit, last few fruits. First year the uh, young plants are fruited for me, so I expect to get a little more next year. So thanks everybody for watching. As usual, please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up. Um, share the video with anyone you think might be interested in Chilean guavas. Um, obviously subscribe to my channel. And uh, please do remember to hit the bell if you'd like to be updated on my new videos as they come out so I'll catch up with you all soon Brett out for now